Would you look at that? Almost two years later, and the booster course is fully completed. With, of course, eight more tracks and the finale to the booster course, which is Wave 6. So, you might be wondering, random vids, what wave is your absolute favorite? That will be coming in a separate video or rank all the ways. Trust me, I have a lot of Mario Kart videos along the way. I have live streams playing for my one channel. Or I do the tracks backwards and rank, I've done a thing where I rank the song. I don't know, it's crazy. <laughs> um, one thing I haven't done yet, though, is rank the, at least these eight tracks. Obviously, I did these with all the waves. Might as well do it with the, this wave as well. Um, we'll just rank all six, tra or sorry, all eight tracks and determine which one I like the best and which one I like the least. So, yeah. Obviously, like I said, there are some videos I do want to do as well, but I have to wait for that brand new tablet to come in, so then, you know, I ain't filming like a 40-minute video on my phone because of storage and stuff. You, you get what I'm saying. Anywho, hope you enjoyed this video, and let's get on to number 8, my personal least favorite track from Wave 6, and that is... So here at number 8 is Rome of Ante. Honestly, now that I was looking at all these Wave 6 tracks, there's not really any bad tracks. Like, I like a lot of these. Even Rome of Ante, sure, it is considered the... just the average normal tour track with, uh... the average normal tour city track, which that's fine. And it's funny because I actually ended up getting Marker Tour on my phone where I could play Rome of Ante, and I did. Except I only played um, Room of Anti 3, so that's fine. Um, I don't know. I was really going back and forth between this track and another one, but I figured, eh, this one just ain't quite as good. It's just your typical tour track driving through Rome, but honestly, it's not that bad. Like, there's definitely some really interesting parts about this track that really stand out or, like, look really good. I mean, Wave 6 graphics look obviously the best out of any wave. Like, look at this. This looks amazing. But, unfortunately, like, even back in Marker Tour, I was like, well, we're going to get Realm of Ante in Marker 8, so... Hooray. <laughs> it's not really that interesting of a track. It does really look nice, and I like the nighttime of it. But, other than that, there's not too much about this track. Obviously, then there's also music as well. The music is not really that good. It's okay. I wouldn't say it's the worst song in Marker 8. But it's definitely one of the weakest songs in Mario Kart 8. Like, I don't know. It's just not for me. I'd say the track is better than the music. Anywho, not much else to really have to say. Just a just your typical tour, just a city track. <laughs> Which I actually noticed a lot of people really just like tour city tracks when I was looking at people ranking Mario Kart 8 tracks and stuff like that. So I can sort of see why, but at the same time, some of them are really fun. This one's okay. It's definitely a better one, but at the same time, for Wave 6, it's my least favorite track. Nothing else I really have to say, so let's move right on to number 7. And that track would be... So here at number 7 is Daisy Circuit. It's crazy to think that at this point... Mario Kart 8 has at least one circuit from each Mario Kart game. From the original Mario Kart, obviously we got SNES um, Mario Circuit 3. From the N64, we got Earl Raceway, which hardly counts. GBA, we got Mario Circuit. From the GCN, we got Yoshi Circuit. From the DS, we got Mario Circuit. From the Wii, we got Daisy Circuit. And then, of course, from the 3DS, we got Toad Circuit. So that's just kind of crazy to think. They really wanted to add a circuit from each wave. And yeah, Daisy's circuit looks really nice now, but it ain't really my personal favorite choice to pick. Also the fact that when this was leaked back in September, it really gave hints to, hey, maybe we won't get Wii Remember Road in Wave 6. And that was kind of disappointing, because I really wanted Wii Remember Road, obviously, of course, until we got the, the trailer. And it was like, oh yeah, by the way, we have, uh, Wii Member Road in as well, which that's crazy. We have so many Wii tracks now. 
So, Stacy Circuit is a good track, but I don't think it really should have been added to the booster course, especially in Wave 6. There could have been a lot more better choices. Because if you remember, we were supposed to get another GCN track. Um, and a lot of people were really pointing towards Mushroom Bridge, which I think that would have been a perfect choice. Because it was in DS, and it just looked okay. So I was really hoping for it to come back in um, Wave 6, but we didn't end up getting it. Instead, we got DK Mountain, which is good, but we were supposed to get two GameCube tracks. This this track's fine, though. It's, def it's one of the more boring tracks, but I don't hate it or anything. And I like the remake music, too. It sounds really good. A lot better than the original, I think. That I've, I've heard it so many times. So, it's good and all, but this remake is a lot better, I think. Even though I don't think it should have been in Wave 6. <laughs> Anywho, not much else really have to say, so let's go to number 6, which is... So, here at number um, 6 is Rosalina's Ice Road. What? No way! We got this track? It's one thing for Daisy Circuit, because we already knew we were going to get at least one more Wii track in Wave 6. But another 3DS track that we thought was gone since Wave 3? Okay. Not expecting this. And not going to lie, I like Rosalind's Ice Boat. It's a pretty good track, and it's a lot of fun to drive on. And obviously, this is the best version of it, because it's either this, 7, or Tour. Uh, pretty obvious choice there. Um, the graphics look really good, too. I love the night sky to this track, too. And the music is so much better now, too. Like, it was alright in Marker 7, but it's better in this version, I think. Everything about this track just looks so much better than the 7 version. Unlike stuff like Toad Circuit and Rock Rock Mountain, where, um... They're good, but, you know, they really got torrified, if you know what I mean. Rosalina's Ice World looks like base game track. Well, also because this is Wave 6 we're talking about, all the tracks should look like base game at this point. Unfortunately, they still didn't go back and fix the older ones. But yeah, this is still a very surprising. Out of all the tracks, this is probably the most surprising one we've got. Even more surprising than New New Highway. Because we were not supposed to get another 3DS track, but I guess they badly wanted to add this track, so we got it. The biggest problem with this track is that it took over a tour track. Obviously, back in the old back in the old data mine, we were supposed to be getting five tour tracks, which then went down to four when we were surprised with Daisy Circuit. And then getting Wee Rainbow Road got rid of that GameCube track, and now this track got rid of another tour track. You're probably thinking, oh, what's that one tour track? Or I don't care about that one tour track. But here's the thing, Mark. Like our tour is going down, so they should have every single tour track in this game. Well, all the new ones at least. So, we, so because of this track, we can't even play Piranha Play and Pipe right now, which I think is kind of dumb. You might be saying, well, it's just like Piranha Play and um, Cove or Piranha Play and Slide. Okay, they share similar themes, but if they can have so many Mario Circuits and Rainbow Roads in this game, then they can have a track that's actually... Piranha Play and Pipe Flying is really different compared to a lot of other tracks. But I don't understand why Nintendo added this opposed to a tour track, which I thought we were supposed to get. Like, literally, I mean, sure, it wasn't leaked, but... I mean, it's kind of obvious. You, you think they'd add all the tour tracks, but I guess not. And it's funny because Final Fantasy Pipeline looks like the beta course in Marker DS. I forget what it's called, but I think it's literally just called beta course. And that course got lost, and now Prana Play and Pipeline's gonna get lost. Unless, unless if this is hitting on like a new Mario Kart or maybe another wave that Nintendo has yet to release? You never know. That'd be my only like reasoning. They didn't add it because they want to add it to the next Mario Kart. Let's hope that's the case. Anywho, nothing much you have to really say about Rizalina. Sorry, we've been going on forever. Now let's move on to number five, which is... I know, how dare me put DK Mountain before two more tour tracks. I know, I get it. I love DK Mountain. It's a very amazing track. 
But like I said, I've played it multiple times. This, because I have Mario Kart Wii and Mario Kart Double Dash, so this track is awesome. Don't get me wrong, I like it. I love the remake. They did one heck of a good job with it. And it's the only track really heavily focused on mountains that actually looks, you know, good. Because, you know, we got Rock Rock Mountain in Wave 3, and that looked really torrified. Even stuff like... Mario Circuit and Koopa Cape at points look kind of dull, but no, DK Mountain looks really good, except for maybe a few trees here and there, but other than that, like, the grass looks good, the mountains look good, oh, nothing really to compl complain about this track. It's your classic old DK Mountain, now I was thinking we'd be getting, um, the other one, um, uh, Dino Dino Jungle, because in Coconut Mall, they have a poster of, um, Dino Dino Jungle, so you, you'd you think, oh, they're going to add Dino Dino Jungle, that's going to be the, the Double Dash track, which don't get me wrong, I love DK Mountain, I definitely wanted it in Mario 8, but I also was like, oh, we're going to be getting Dino Dino Jungle, which that's fine, but oh, we got DK Mountain, so that's fine, yet again, that kind of hints, are we going to get Wave 7 with Dino Dino Jungle in it, and Piranha Plant Pipeline? Hmm, that's something to think about. But yeah, this track is amazing. I love the little waviness to the bridge at the end. It adds to the, the tense. <laughs> Plus, the music is a really good remake to the original tune. I know, there's a lot. There's some people who don't like this remake and consider it the worst out of the DK Mountains. But I consider it the best out of the DK Mountains. Maybe just because how much nicer it looks. They got rid of these dumb ramps, too, and, well... Sort of got rid of those dumb ramps. <laughs> they're still sort of here, but at least they're like... They don't stick out like a sore thumb, if you know what I mean. Instead, it looks more like someone carved in those little... Arrows to make it look more like, Oh, yeah, you're supposed to trick off here. Overall, DK Mountain is definitely a fun track, and... It's definitely one of my favorites from Wave 6. Not quite my favorite, though. There's still some others that I like a little better, but... DK Mountain, definitely an amazing track. Nothing much else I have to say, so let's move on to number four, which is... So here at number four is Major Drive. Oh, uh, this track is so much fun. <laughs> I remember playing it in the tour version. All three versions, actually, because that's when I had tour, when Major Drive came out for the first time. And I was so excited, because this track... Okay, yeah, if you look at it like that, it's... Definitely, yet again, another one of those city courses. But, man, they do a lot with this track. Like, for example, this scene, you go through the mall, you go through the museum, you go through um, a soccer field. So it's just an amazing track. Well, okay, it's not amazing. <laughs> I think you know what I'm calling amazing here. Just listen to that music. Oh, they did one heck of a good job with it. It sounds amazing, and I was so excited when I heard this song for the first time in the uh, in the trailer that we got back in October or November, whatever it was, where it's like, oh yeah, we're going to be getting Major Drive in Wave 6. Because I was already pumped, excited, like, when it came out in tour, because I was like, oh man, this music's pumping. But man, it sounds even better in Mario Kart 8. And I love the the stadium and museum versions of the song, too. Plus, this track has you all over the place. You're not really in the city for too much of it, but even then, like, I don't find city tracks that boring. Even stuff like New York Minute, even Paris Prominent are terrible. This track is just, ugh. I think, okay, the track is good. It's not the best I've seen, but it's a very good track. I think what really boosts this above all, a lot of other tracks is that music. Oh, it is awesome. It's probably, not gonna lie, my second favorite Mario Kart song of all time. I don't know. I also like Piranha Plant. I also like Piranha Plant Slide, if you know. So, this is probably number... Number two. Anywho, not much else I really have to say. This track I was so excited for in Wave 6, and it looks amazing. So now let's move on to number 3, which is... So 
So here at number three is good old Piranha Plant Co. This track I thought we'd be getting in wave five, but nope. They wanted to wait a bit until wave six came out, which is fine. And it was worth the wait. Look at this track. It's so gorgeous. They did a good job with this track, like even back in tour. But of course, because they waited till wave six, a lot of the graphics look a lot better, like the grass, the rocks, etc. And a lot of a lot of this um, track is really fun to play as well. And like I said, it looks really good too. They did a good job with it. I'm glad that we. Okay, out of all the ch out of all the. I'm glad we got this. If they had to pick between this or Piranha Plant Pipeline, I probably would have wanted this, but they could have, they should have got rid of Roma Vane. They should have they should have not added um Rosalind's Ice World in the first place. I think that was a big mistake. But whatever, like I said, it could be hitting for another wave or another marker coming soon. But man, this track is really good. Even though it's just ruins for the most part. It's way more interesting than like Athens Dash and even Rome of Ante as well. Where now the, the ruins are underwater half the time. And there's a lot of cool little secrets here and there. Another thing is the music. Oh, this music is so good. Even though it didn't change too much from the original, you can tell it's a little different. And it sounds really good. They did a really good job with this music. Although when I played it in Marker Tour, it was just okay, but then, I, then I figured out why. Because I was playing Lap 3, or Product Plant Co. 3, whatever you want to call it. Which is easily the weakest lap out of them all, but you know what? It's still a really fun track with a great music. Definitely my favorite tour track from Wave 6. Nothing else I really have to say, so let's move on to number dos, which is... So here at number two is SNES's Bowser Castle 3. Oh my goodness, they went all out in this track. Well, I guess it was the tour version that went all out, but good lord, look at this track. It looks awesome. Obviously, they already brought back Bowser Castles 1, 2, and 3 from the GBA into Mark Hertz, but they never done an SNES one before. And man, they did one heck of a good job with it. Imagine if we got Bowser Castle 4 from the GBA. Like that track, I've seen, I haven't played it in Mark Hertz. No, wait, I have. But I forget it. I just remember it being fun. <laughs> but man, you know, you're about to have a good time when you hear that rock and roll playing. Same with the other Bowser Castle we have. I love how both just start off with rock and roll. I think all Bowser Castles should have rock and roll from now on. I don't like that really annoying stuff from like the from like Double Dash and even like Wii or N64. That stuff, eh, it just doesn't make the song sound good. Stuff like this, oh. And what's funny is that I really disliked the original Bowser Castle 3's music. Just because of how just generic, bland, and boring the song was, but man, this track has one heck of a glow up, visually and, I mean, music-wise as well. Oh, yet again, I was thinking we'd be getting Vanilla Lake, because yet again, we got a leak in Coconut Mall that we'd be getting it, but no, we got this instead, which, yet again, kind of figured we'd get it, but whatever. It's still an amazing track, and it's funny to see that they're actually making SNES tracks a lot fun, especially after we got Mars Circuit 3 and they did, like, absolutely nothing to it. <laughs> like, <coughs> they did a good job with this track, and it's definitely one of my favorites from Wave 6. Nothing much else I really have to say. Amazing track, pretty okay music, so let's move on to my favorite track from the Wave 6, and that is... I think it was pretty obvious which track was going to be number one. Obviously, it's going to be We Rainbow Road. I even predicted this track to come back in Mario Kart 9, and lo and behold, we got it on Mario Kart earlier. I love how they actually added Special Cup tracks from Marco Wii, since I love the Special Cup of Marco Wii. That's some of my favorite tracks of all time, like We Rainbow Road, for example. And because it ended up being in Mario Kart 8, it is easily my favorite track from Wave 6, because I was, once I, once I started seeing how well the booster course started looking, and of course when I got it, I was like, okay, maybe they can add Wii Rainbow Road, and they did, and it looks really nice, 
Especially after all these teases where they're like, oh, we added Beamview Highway instead, or oh, we added um, Daisy Circuit instead. No, nope. they're still going strong with Wee Rainbow Road. I feel like there's a lot of, like, controversy on which Rainbow Road's the best, the Wii one or Margaret 7's. I'm definitely more of a Wii fan. I think Margaret 7's Rainbow Road is really overrated. Maybe not Wally G Pinball overrated, but it's definitely very overrated for just an okay track. Like, does Margaret 7's Rainbow Road let you do that or take this shortcut, which I'm pretty bad at doing, but actually ended up doing? Also, the fact that this track is completely in anti-gravity. And if you remember in the tour version, um, it was just one big giant lap, which doesn't make sense because the track is not really that long. If they would have done that, then that would have been like the shortest track in Mario Kart history. So I'm so glad that they don't do that anymore. But, man, they went all out, and everything's here. They didn't butcher the track, they didn't make it worse. It looks amazing. Like, better than the Wii version, I think. Also, just because this is Wave 6, it looks amazing. And, man, that music, oh, it sounds so good. Obviously, the original sounded good, but you can't go wrong with this remake. I think it sounds better than the original. Yet again, I've heard the original so many times that a remake was, well, like, I really wanted a remake. And we got one. I'm so glad we did. It's just that now I have to find another track to predict in Mario Kart 9. <laughs> Which, that's fun. Anywho, nothing else I really have to say. I can consider Wii's Rainbow Road the best track in Wave 6. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll be seeing you next time. Have a good day. Peace.